What's up? We're Aaron Berlin. We're going to take you down memory lane. For the last 40 years of all seven of our albums. From New Surrender, we wanted to change again and progress. We were writing similar, but it was like we were trying hard to like, again, push ourselves and not put out like New Surrender part two or even like Cities part two, you know? So we wanted to, each record to stand on its own. And so when we were talking about different producers, it was tough. We didn't know who we were going to do it with. So we're like, we're playing in West Virginia with Taking Back Sunday. And I get a call from our manager and he's like, what do you think about Brennan O'Brien? And I was like, why? Yeah. I was like, why Why are you even bringing that up? He's like, because he, he got in contact with me. Which is crazy, because at that point, we really did not know who we were going to do the record with. We were pretty much almost done writing the record. And Brennan O'Brien is like, you know, for all of us, is like one of our favorite producers. So it was really weird. We thought it was a joke. We were like, come on. Like, he just won, like, producer, producer of, of the year. year. He won a Grammy for, like, that Bruce Springsteen record. So we were like, this is stupid. We played Atlanta, like, two days later. And he came out, and we, he watched our show, and then we met on the bus, and he was just the raddest dude. I mean, everything that he said, we like were exactly in the same spot and just connected with what kind of record we wanted to make. Then it was shortly thereafter that we went into the studio. Yeah. So this record, we started to change it up, and we wanted to do more like of a classic approach um, and kind of record things a little bit differently. And Brennan has such a good, like, way of getting just classic sound so that was awesome we were great rock producer yeah he stood in the room with us when we were doing pre-production he had like his own little setup and we would just jam the songs and then he'd be like let's try this it was really cool looking back i think that was one of the craziest experience of like making a record yeah that's pretty cool that. yeah it was uh definitely intimidating because just of the caliber of bands he'd recorded oh, oh, for the rest of my life my favorite song from dark is the way lies of waste uh, is Pray Tell because for me, like we've been talking about doing a song like that for so long with that beat and that style. I think my favorite song off Dark Is The Way would be Impossible, honestly, wrong. because- it's the wrong answer. I just think it's a good pop song yeah. and it was very validating. We were in the Czech Republic playing this random festival and we were sh basically sharing a back room with Jimmy World and they watched our set. They came in after the set and the drummer was like, dude, Impossible is the best. Rock, rock song, song this I've, year. I've ever heard or something. It was just, yeah. it was awesome to hear. Yeah.